Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve chapter 12, Torrid Zone from class 5 geography book, inside and exercise question answers. Before we start requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on right time. If you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist. And if you have any queries, then please let me know in the comment box. So let's start Torrid Zone. And one more thing, don't skip the video. Watch the video till end. At first, we have some objective. Number A, fill in the blanks. Number 1, the Torrid zones, Zone lies between the two tropics. Number 2, the equator runs through the center of the hot zone number three the desert has nocturnal animals that come out when it is dark number four the tropical regions have equatorial forests that have trees that do not shed their leaves at the same time number five the deep forests are inhabited by tribes next we have some question answers so these are the exercise question answers. Let's start. Number one, why are the rainforests clustered around the equator? The regions around the equator are very hot and get rainfall daily. This is why rainforests are clustered around the equator. Number two, what are evergreen forests? The forests that remain green throughout the year and shed leaves at different times of the year are called evergreen forests. Number three, what are the top two layers of the rainforest? The top two layers of the rainforest are number A, emergent layer, number B, canopy layer. Number four, why do we find only ferns and mushrooms in the forest floors? Ferns and mushrooms do not need much sunlight to grow as sunlight doesn't reach the first floor Ferns and mushrooms are only found here. Number five, why are the forests home to such a large variety of creatures? The different layers of the forest provide different habitats. So, the creatures in the forest have adapted to live in these layers. The forest can be noisy as many of these birds and animals communicate with each other by making loud sounds. Number seven. Why are the sum of the water of uh, water creatures found in the equatorial region? The rivers are filled with both small and large creatures like the piranhas, stingray, electric eel, river, dolphin, crocodile, snake, uh, snake, headfish, and catfish who feed on the smaller fishes and insects in the water. Number seven, describe the lives of people in equatorial forest. The thick, hot, humid equatorial forests are not easy to live in. So few people live here. It is home mostly to people who follow the traditional way of life in tribes. They live by hunting or by eating fruits from trees. Some of them grow tapioca in small patches between the forest. They live in huts that they make using materials from the forest. Number eight, what are the effects of the equatorial forest are being destroyed? Number eight, in some places, forests are cut down for wood. This is called logging. Number B, in other places, the forests are being burned to clear the land for plantations to different cash crops. Next, number 9. Any four effects of the disappearing equatorial forest? Any four effects of the disappearing equatorial forest? Number A. The top soil will get eroded more quickly due to lack of forest. Number B, we will lose diverse and huge number of plants and animals, many of which we still have to discover. 
नंबर सी पीपल लिविंग हियर विल ऑल्सो लॉज देयर होम्स एंड देयर ट्रेडिशनल वे ऑफ लाइफ एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट एव अव ऑल वी विल लॉज द बैलेंस ऑफ नेचर दैट लिंक्स द लैंड एनिमल्स वेजिटेशन एंड पीपल एंड नाउ इट्स टाइम टू गिव यू द इनसाइट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर वन वट इज टैपियोका Tapioca is a hard white grain obtained from a tropical plant. Number 2 which animal generate and give out electric shock? Electric eel can generate and give out electric shock. Number 3 which bird has tough beak to crack nuts? The toucan has tough beak to crack nuts. Next number 4 how are uh, how the brown throated sloth camouflage with the vegetation the brown throated sloth is covered with green moss so that it can march with the vegetation to protect himself and move easily number 5 where does the torrid zone lie the torrid zone lie between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn number 6 what are the four regions covered by the torrid zone the four uh, the zones covered covers four regions first point the areas which are near the equator 10 degree north and south of the equator are called the equatorial regions next point second point areas between 15 degree and 25 degree north and south of the equator are called the tropical regions third point tropical grasslands are also part of the same latitude fourth point that means the last point the driest areas in or around the tropical regions are hot desert number 7 which countries fall on the equatorial regions africa south america and southeast asia number 8 features of equatorial regions 10 degree north and south of the equator hot and humid with rain throughout the year evergreen equatorial rain forest in layers largest variety of land and water animals very few people live here mainly has a tribal population number 8 which countries are included in hot desert region sahara desert australian desert sonoran De and mexican desert and arabian desert number 9 which type of vegetations are found in hot desert regions the animals here are bigger and also strong footed as they have to cover long distance next number 10 which type of plants can grow in under story layer non flowering plants shrubs and wild ferns which creatures are found in under story layer boa leaf filter toad poison dart arrow frogs next which type of trees can grow in forest floor forest floor layer plants like moss ferns and wild mushrooms 13 name the bird which is found in emergent layer the harpy eagle 14 which creatures are found in forest floor layer the giant blue morpho leaf cutter ants gorilla jaguar Number fifteen, which are equatorial regions, the uh, areas which are near the equator, ten degree north and south of the equator, are called the equatorial regions. Number sixteen, what are hot deserts? The driest areas in or around the tropical regions are the hot deserts. Number seventeen, what do you mean by logging? In some places, the trees are cut down for wood. These are called logging. Number eighteen. Name the creatures found in canopy under story layer. Canopy layer has features that can move easily through thick network of branches. Toucan, the brown throated sloth, the spider monkey, the colorful macaws. So here we come to the end. We just solved the chapter torrid zone, the inside question answer and the exercise question answers. See you soon with a new video. Till then. Take care and bye